Well, I'll tell you, I'm very happy to come down and see this tiny home project. We're hearing a lot about this um, uh, temporary approach as part of the overall approach of dealing with homelessness in the state of California. But the real question when I come to a place like this is, is it better for people of their own choice to have an option instead of sleeping in your car or sleeping in a tent to sleep in a tiny home? And what I heard from people who are living here right now, and by the way, this place is full, it's at capacity, is that the people who choose to be here right now, this is better for them. They want to be in a place where they can lock the door and they feel safer here. For me, just even being able to say, okay, close my door, I lock my door and say, okay, I'm safe or even air conditioned. It means everything to people and it means everything to me. So it's transitioning you in your mind into having your own place. And it's giving the Lieutenant Governor an idea of what the problems are in each individual person because it's like I said it's not one size fits all. Most importantly for us is Palette prides itself on involving people who have experienced homelessness in the solution so we're thrilled to see the lieutenant governor here listening to people who have walked the path of homelessness themselves and taking in their perspective. The solution to homelessness is going to come from people who have lived experience in homelessness pues estamos muy felices, primeramente que venga la, la, la señora gobernadora a visitarnos, es una gran cosa para nosotros. Este, lo que queremos um, hacer ver no nomás ella, pero también el resto de la comunidad es que uh, no es todo lo que piensa la gente. Uh, mucha gente sí viene eh, de historias este, únicas y especiales y, y, y nomás necesitan un empujo y es lo que le estamos enseñando aquí a la, a la señora gobernadora. This whole space of transitional housing is something that people are very interested in as I am. And so I look forward to going to more places, but mostly just talking to more of the clients and hearing how is this working for them on their way to permanent supportive housing.